Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for more Let's Play Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In the last episode, we uh, finished off the Raisin Ruins, and in the episode before that, we crumbled the Cookie Country. And in this episode, we are going to be moving on to the Smelly Onion Ocean, where there are 16 parts. And I have to say, I'm somewhat excited. Oh, and I solved the water ability. Cool beans. So, guys, this is probably going to be the, either the last episode, I, the last video I post today. I haven't decided yet, because I'd like to post the entire game of Kirby in one day. I just don't know if that's going to be possible. It might be, though. Who knows? So we can just surf along the water here. It actually seems like this is a pretty good power to have at the moment. Um, I had to take a break playing the game. I uh, decided to go ahead and... Uh, okay, wow. No! Oh, I was enjoying having that power here. So these are coconuts, exploding coconuts. They're pretty con they're a staple in the Kirby game, of course. Um, being a dumb trap, but nonetheless, being pretty common. Ow! Okay, you don't want to fall down there. There's spikes down there. Ah, no, no, no. Okay. Um, oh, snowman, I forgot about you. I'm sorry. We get to ice skate now. Along the world. So yes, uh, ice ability is a pretty common ability. Uh, you can ice skate along, or you can freeze enemies and uh, kick their bodies, their frozen corpses. I'm assuming we can uh, ski over these. Yep. So they work a lot. It works pretty much the same way. The uh, freaking water ability works in the water, or in the water ability works in the. No! Fudge! Only I didn't say fudge. Wow, really? We're already gonna start making movie references? Can I eat you? <gasps> oh, I get the bomb ability. Oh, probably because that guy gave bombs. Whoa, those are big freaking coconuts. Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? I don't even remember. Oh, well. I'm kind of bummed, though. I was enjoying having the ice ability, being the ice skate around, but that's okay because I do enjoy the um, bomb ability also. But it looks like they're gonna want us to take the parasol, so I might as well do that. Uh -huh. That's Sky Bomb. Uh -huh. It's like Zelt Link in Skyward Sword just dive bombing. No! No, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, I wonder if they still do the roulette. Uh, let's see, actually. Oh, no, that wasn't right. No! Uh, let's see if they still do it. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. Yay, there we go. Do they? No, they don't do the roulette anymore. Uh, and, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, in Kirby Superstar Saga, if you suck up two uh, different powers, they do a roulette between the two of them. And uh, you, or not between the two of them, between any of the powers. And you can end up with a really, really awesome power that you maybe aren't even supposed to get. Or you could end up getting, wait, was that a part up there I saw? Um, no, it's not a part, but might as well get it. It's a Superstar bit. That's what I call them. That's the working title. Because I don't actually know what they're called. I'm still calling them Starbits, too. And I don't know why. I can't remember what Starbits is from. Like, I know it's from a game of some sort. But I'm pretty sure it's not Kirby. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe they are Starbits. I don't know. Um. Oh, Tornado Ability. Cool. I enjoy the Tornado Ability. So, pretty happy about that. Yeah, they give, they give you a lot of... Like, Copy ability. I mean, they give you a lot of abilities and just kind of have. They're like, hey, here you go. You can just take this. Take this. Oh, that's cool. The up uh, up one move is you shoot a tornado up. That's pretty cool. What's a down? Is there a down move? No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, taste the wrath of my tornado. Take that, Bill Paxton. Okay, that was a... You, I would be amazed if anyone understood that reference. I really would be. I'd be very impressed with you guys. But then again, I don't know how, how many of you guys are movie buffs like I am, so... Not to say, like, oh, I'm a movie buff. Mm, I don't even consider myself a movie buff, but... Some people would. Bumblebee! <laughs> um, but yeah, Bill Paxton, why would I be referencing that for a tornado? Only you can tell me. Because, well, I know. I'm just curious if you know. I know. Gosh, I know. I just want to know if you know. I still haven't found a part yet, which is weird. Is there anything down here? No. Well, now I'm a cyclone because not cyclone, a uh, water spout. Tornadoes in the water, water spouts, something like that. I don't know actually. I'm just making shit up now. Thank you for eating them. You get the whip ability. 
But I don't know. And I really don't want the whip ability, so. I'm not going to find out. So, ha. Well, you know what? Actually, the whole thing with, um... There might be the one, one of the, what are they called? The enemies that give you the two of them. The two of them. Whatever I was trying to say. I can't remember anymore. Stop it. Jesus. Okay, that was like, I was like expecting something. <laughs> I was just about to say I was expecting something difficult. Oh my god. That's twice dying in a Kirby fucking game. Let's player's curse. That's what I blame it on. Oh my god. And it's always when I'm just complaining about things being easy, too. Oh, irony loves me. Irony. Yay, snowman! I wanted to die anyway. I wanted that power. Oh yeah! Freeze! Freeze! I don't know why I said it when no one was being frozen. Freeze! I just realized I don't have my headphones in. Um, whatever, you guys can't hear the audio, I don't think. I hope there's no echo. Ha! Ah, tiki! Ah! That reminds me, I haven't played Zuma's Revenge in a while. I don't know if you guys- Okay, I'm gonna put my headphones in, I'm sorry. If there was an echo of any sort. I don't think there was. The blue snowball is pretty, uh, good as far as directional goes. I knew something was missing, I'm like, why does it sound so quiet in here? Oh no, I guess it's not, uh... It's not cold enough. Oh, it's a pretty sandcastle you got there, buddy. Now you're dead. Dead is dead. Oh, ooh, ultra snow. Yay. I didn't even know there was a snow. A snow bowl. <laughs> I see what they did there. So I'm pretty sure with this, we uh, destroy... Uh, what the hell did I just do? Oh my god, I'm a snowball. That is awesome. That is funny. That's funny. You so funny. Okay, so cool. We get to be a freaking snowman and plow through these to the these tiki totems and through these sand castles. That's pretty cool. I like the snow one. I have to say, I was talking to Sully Pones about uh, this game since he's also LPing it. And, you know, we we're just discussing like favorite abilities and just general opinions of the game. And uh, he he and I pretty much agreed that the. Uh, Sword powers are favorite. The sword giga powers are favorite, but I don't know. This is pretty cool. Here's this giant indestructible snowball, and you destroy sand castles like a bully. If you guys ever seen what is it? I think called the show is called Sandmasters. I don't even remember, but it was like the people who made like really, really amazing sand castles. And then Kirby just comes in, but oh, screw your sand castle. You have sex with a girl for once in your life. Oh my god, we just like annihilated all those guys. Ah, keep getting it all, Kirby. Oh, go. There is the secret star warp. Warp star. Whatever. And we get a one up. And we're probably gonna need it because I apparently suck at this freaking game. Because I died. Because I'm pathetic, okay? I said it. Alright, oh, this one's going down. Oh crap. Go. Fall. Faster. Okay, I don't like this. This actually seems like it could be challenging, but you know what? I'm sure I'll be I'm sure I'll be wrong. It's freaking Kirby for gosh sakes. For gosh sakes. Gosh sakis. There we go. And we hit this switch. Sorry I'm being quiet. It's 2.45? Yeah, 2.45 in the morning right now, and everyone's sleeping, so. Everyone was sleeping before, but at least I could be a bit louder because it's, they knew I was coming up here to record, so. Yeah, living at home su sucks still. Even though I'm a college student and busy all the time, it still sucks that I have to, like, be quiet after a certain time or, you know. Especially as a Let's Player, it sucks because, you know, you want to be loud when you record and you don't want to be quiet or, you know, you don't want to limit your commentary. And for the most part, my commentary style is pretty loud, unless I'm being laid back, which I'm kind of feeling now. You know, I had a really full day. Uh, Lauren and I hung out, and you know, she came by around 10 to hang out before she had to go to work, and I uh, recorded some Paper Mario, and then I had a pretty big breakfast, actually. Did a little bit of homework, and went to work. I worked nine hours today, and now I've been recording Kirby for, like, the last... No, okay, 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 that's enough, fatty. Ah, ner Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what happens when you hit the purple. I'm kind of curious, but not enough to where I'd want to kill myself. 
Whee! All right, so now we gotta fight this guy. What are they, Sphere Doomer? Duh, I don't know how I forgot that. Yeah, I know before how I fought. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do that again, actually. So shoot that at him. Oh, but he's not gonna do his move, his, drop, his dropping move, so. Oh well, we can wait. I'm just impatient. I don't like doing these fights because they just take so long. Come on, just drop it. Seriously? I'm just gonna do this twice? Oh no, I see what you're doing. No, I only got one of them. Oh well. Ah, don't fly over me. I don't like being flown over. Makes me nervous. Come and get me. Whee! So you can't like mega suck him in. Just like be like, ha! Ah. Ow. You just did that because I'm fat. Alright, so we get the two energy spheres to complete three one. Which is, I wish I figured. That's what I was trying to say earlier, by the way, was, oh yeah, we'll probably finish it when we get to that thingy. Because <clears throat> most of the time when they're when there's not many throughout the level, that means you're going to have to fight a Sphere Doomer, or whatever the hell they were called. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of the level. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty quick. Not as quick as I wanted it to be, of course, but whatever. So I'm assuming there's going to be five levels plus the... Oh, I got number one! Yay! So what do I get for that? Do I get a life, or do I just get a lot more Star Bits? We oh, Star Bits are from Mario Galaxy! Oh my god! How did I not remember that after all those hungry Lumas that I had to feed? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm such a derp. Yeah, god. Oh, energy. Okay, cool. We got scope shot. <gasps> Super scope? <laughs> but yeah, no. Star bits are from Mario Galaxy, and I'm sure lots of you just face palmed because you've been trying to comment about that. <laughs> not realizing that this is all pre recorded. I am so sorry for putting you through that horrible. I'm sure you have like a giant bruise on your head now because of the fact that I couldn't freaking remember that. But I just remembered. You know that, like I was saying, this game is pretty similar to all the other Mario games. Or all the other... Ha! Ah, sword ability is mine! Yeah! Fish out of water. Fish out of life. Whee! Um, but yeah, so that was it. Oh, and now that we have the sword ability, we can, instead of doing our normal, like, uh, bubble blowing move, we can uh, do a, sh a sword spin. Which is, in my opinion, better. Because, you know, it's a wide range attack. If you ever get surrounded, you can take those two guys out. I don't really like the bubble blow attack. There's four parts in this level? Maybe we will find. I don't know. Normally with far four points. I guess we'll find out. I'm not gonna try and guess what's gonna happen. Because I'll be wrong! I don't like being wrong. But who does? <laughs> you know? When was the last time you were wrong and, like, ah! That's refreshing. I was glad I was wrong. I think that was a bomb ability or something. I do love the sword, though. The sword's a lot of fun. The sword was always my favorite. I mean, the sword is supposed to be your favorite. It's just, I enjoy it a lot because you can do them. Ooh, Kibble Blade. That's cool. Ah, ah, ah. Dang it, I wasn't paying attention. I, for some reason, was like, he's not gonna do anything. This is just a Kirby game, after all, where enemies do nothing. So die, like idiots. Oh, I should probably got that power. No. Oh, I actually, I'm still okay because I have the sword. I figured it was going to be something like this. Ooh, candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. You know, I'm not a big fan of Family Guy, but that is one thing that I always laugh at just because I love the voice of James Woods, like his Hades and stuff like that. So it just sounds funny to hear Hades say, ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only person that feels like that. Most people love Family Guy. I'm just, you know, not really into it. I feel like it's just a lot of cheap humor. Not that it's not funny. Like, I can't, I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, I never have laughed at a Family Guy episode. I gotta be totally lying to you. But at the same time, it's not like it's the funniest thing ever. It's just, you know, it is what it is. It's just some funny jokes that are just a bunch of flashbacks. You know, they're, they're, basically the way I always figured it was like, is like Seth MacFarlane wrote a stand-up comedy routine. And you fucker. I'm devouring your soul and making it my own. Um, but like Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy, one of the main writers, you know, he's like, all right, I got this comedy routine, but you know, it's just not that funny. It doesn't go well together. And basically what he decided to do was, hey, what if I just make this into a script, add a name here, add a name there, and bada bing, bada boom. We, we got a, a, a comedy. You know, and that's kind of what it seems like sometimes. It's just like, it's so unorganized, it's so all over the place, it's just like, Oh, yeah, someone should definitely make a joke about her or him. And then it's like, 
they just throw it in. They don't write it in. They don't like you know give a reason for it like South Park or The Simpsons. They just kind of go for it. They're like, all right, let's just you know, we could fit it in there somewhere. And you know, I mean, it takes balls, and they, I'm not saying they don't do a very good job with it, but eh, I'm just not too crazy about it. I hope that switch wasn't to get a part. But that's one thing they seem to be doing is they don't really make the parts un ungettable. Like as long as you have mostly everything around you. I mean, like, they're not, they don't do it to where, ooh, what is that? That looks fashionable. Wow. Oh my god, god. Seriously, like I said, this game is just copying. This is like Super Mario World 3 with the boot. Can't remember what the boot's called. Like, I mean, this is obviously a much more epic version of the boot. But still, man. They just, like, copied off of everything. This game is like Super Mario World 3. It's like, uh, Pikmin. It's like, uh, well, obviously, like, her, uh, Crystal Shards, I already said that, though, earlier. I mean, it's, that's okay, though. That's, I mean, it's supposed to be, like, a Kirby game. It's a freaking Kirby game that's, like, a Kirby game. There's nothing wrong with that. Can we jump on them? Ah, ah, no! Ah, get the boot! Das boot, no! That's okay, it's just right there. <laughs> I figured. Um, what other games were I, was I comparing it to? No! God dang it! Okay, so we're supposed to jump over them. I knew that. No! Okay, no, we are supposed to jump on them. That's the only way to make that jump. I was gonna say, there's no way. Um, no! Ow! I didn't even realize that was an enemy. Well, I needed to do that anyways, I guess, to get to that. Whee! I, I do like the boot, though. It's pretty fun. Ah! Jump! Up! No! And then hit that... And we can go into this door. Not really sure what's in here, but it's something optional, of course. Oh, nope, it's a part. Yay! But yeah, with that kind of part, you could always go back and get it, so. That's what I was trying to say earlier, is they don't make it, so, like, if you miss one, you're... Oh, I did miss one, though. Damn it! Oh, well, that's fine. Like I said, I'm not really trying that hard to get 100%. I'm just trying to get as high of a completion as possible. And if I, if I get close enough to really be... Ooh, hello, Mr. Eel. You're pretty cute. That is one thing about these Kirby games is nothing seems threatening. Everything is just like, oh look at the eel, he's got a smile. He's so happy. Nothing is like, oh my god, he's gonna murder me. <laughs> like I'm never gonna forget when I played that game Prototype. My friend let me borrow it. It was when I first had an Xbox. He let me borrow his copy of Prototype when the game first came out. I don't know if you guys remember, it's just a really intense game. <clears throat> let me <laughs> let me borrow it. It was one of the goriest, like, nastiest, most violent games. Like, ah, ah, no, 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 no. Spit me out. Mwah. Jerk. Um, but he let me play it, and I played it for, like, 10 hours. 10 or 12 hours total, not at once. And, uh, wow, that is, like, this is, like, the easiest part in the whole game to get. Unless I get eaten by him, then it's not so easy. Then I would have died. And then I would have been sad. Sad mountain. Um, anyway. Uh, but yeah, after I played it, I was just so depressed and like so like uh, the violence, just the violence of that game just made me not want to play it ever again or any violent game at all. So I just played like games like Kirby, Superstar, Crystal Shards, and like just different Kirby games like that. And I think it's kind of funny because I've been playing uh, Arkham City because that was just came out and I got it on release. I got Arkham City and it's like okay, I need a break from all this violence. No, I'm just playing like the most adorable game ever. Except I was saying, like, if I wasn't able to get this copy of this game because they only had this as the pre-order, like, I was, originally I wouldn't have been able to get this. Um, I was just going to get Dead Island, which I just thought was funny, the difference between the games. Like, okay, they don't have Kirby, I'm just going to get Dead Island. And kind of my thought was, it'll make me feel better about not getting this game, was to murder some zombies co op -ly. But I'm probably still going to get Dead Island, so... If you ever want to play, you can add me on Xbox Live as Red Panda Gamer One. Unless I don't like you, then you can add me and troll me and do whatever the fuck you want. Wee! And please stop disliking my videos. Just saying. Just saying. Do I get a bat? No, of course I don't get a bat ability. Why would I expect something cool like that? What am I thinking? Expecting cool things? Ah! Okay, I'm assuming with this they're gonna end up making something come on the sides like that. I just don't want to miss anything good, anything useful. That's just, oh, you know what? I do need some health, so I should probably grab that bottle of milk? I don't know. Whee! 
Ah, get away from me, stalag tight. Stalagmite. I think, because I think it's stalagmites hold on. I think it's stalagmites hold on with all their might. I don't remember. I don't remember how to remember it. So what's the point of having something to help you remember it if you can't remember the part that thing helps you remember it? Like, my dear Aunt Sally? What if I couldn't remember that? Like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You didn't even say it right. That's for, uh, order of operations? No. Please excuse... Yeah, parentheses exponents multiplication division subtraction uh, ah no oh that didn't kill me since when is a game smash you and not kill you oh Kirby you're just trying to make everything so easy for us oh and I love it I'm just trying to figure out what these ship parts are there's supposed to be four of them I haven't seen one I'm probably gonna miss them miss every single one I'm gonna purposely try to get it 60%. I don't know. I don't know what the completion rate would be if you skip all the parts. My guess is 60, though. Okay, so swim it up the hole. Oh, we're going fast. Oh, we're going fast. Oh, jeez. That kind of actually made me dizzy. I don't know why. Probably should have been paying attention to what was down in these. Um, let's see. Where is this going to even take me? Whee! Underneath the sea lab, underneath the water, sea lab, at the bottom of the sea. That's a theme song from Sea Lab 2021, one of my favorite Adult Swim shows. It was really good. I don't know if you guys know what I'm even talking about, but it was a good show. While it was on, I guess. I mean, it, it, it had its moments where it wasn't that funny, but for the most part, I enjoyed it. Dude, box, break, Jesus. I want is the Maximator. It's not even worth it. Oh, but when I bought this at uh, GameStop, I almost I also bought a uh, freaking Robot Chicken Season Five from Target. I'm actually really excited. It was only twenty bucks. I'm like, oh, I gotta get this because I have every single season, every single Star Wars special of Robot Chicken. I'm really obsessed with that show. It was actually that show that finalized my decision to become a television major. I mean, I was decided on video, any kind of video. But I was like, you know, I was going towards film, and then all of a sudden I started watching Robot Chicken. I'm like, oh, you know what? It'd be really cool to do something like this. Oh, he looks like a giant piece of crap. Mondo. I like that name. Mo like Mondo Burger from Good Burger. Welcome to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? Okay, I recommend. Ah, ah, no! Spinning attack. I recommend using the Spit Out Stars just because he, uh. He's pretty. He has a lot of defense against normal freaking stuff it seems I, I sorry I'm an, I'm really tired it's almost it is no not quite three o'clock no but it's three actually never mind okay so we can use the I don't know why it's really how many oh no it's the first one it's gonna be a long level isn't it oh no actually they might okay computer don't go to sleep what the fuck okay we're good I was worried for a minute there my computer never goes to sleep mode I don't know why it did that was weird it didn't do sleep mode when I freaking recorded earlier no, get away, get away, get away, get away, punchy plant of underwaterness. <clears throat> oh, good, another puzzle. Yay. Oh, but now I gotta freaking go. So it goes up to. Shoot, I have no idea. God, the rock move. Oh my god. What? I get a rock fist? Oh, no, I don't wanna do that one. I don't wanna do that one. I don't wanna do that one. No! Because this was the one last time. There's no way it's going to be this, this, the, that one that both times in a row. I'm going to miss the ship piece now. <sighs> Hope you're happy. Oh, wait. Maybe I won't. Wait, maybe I will. I have no idea. Am I going to get it? No. Of course not. Why would they let me get it? <sighs> I don't like missing pieces. Especially in puzzles. It's really stressful. Or board games. Missing pieces in board games is really annoying. Okay, so this is like a freaking ah. <laughs> uppercut. Oh, I can't uppercut. I wanted a rocker cup, a rock, rock uppercut. I'm trying to think of a way to combine rock and uppercut, but it didn't really work. Ow! Ow! Oh, I was hoping the water would just drag me along, but nope, it didn't. And that would make too much sense, wouldn't it, Nintendo? And you're all against making sense. <laughs> Ah, no! Rocky! No! 
I miss you. I'll think about you every night. Oh, at least I leveled up. Never mind. Don't care. All right, so I think we're about to get a super mega ultra power. Yep, fire. I think that means we've gotten all of them then. Yes, we're gonna summon the monster flame dragon. Blue eyes, white dragon. Whatever. So we destroyed these weird. Ow! So I think we have to do it at that point. And the freaking star appears, and that's what makes sense. To Ooh, they look cool. They look like uh, Donkey Kong Country enemies. Speaking of, that was something funny that. Uh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. That was something that uh, Sully Pons mentioned when I was talking about the game. He's like, yeah, I expected it to be way harder. I expected it to be like as difficult as Donkey Kong Country Returns. I'm like, ha, ha, no. Kirby game would never be that difficult. It'd be interesting. It'd be really cool to see a Kirby game that difficult, but I just don't imagine that ever happening. I feel like, like, uh, Japan has, like, a really difficult Kirby game that we won't even know about. They're like, no, no, no. We cannot show the Americans this game yet. Why did I sound like a Russian? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I didn't realize that. It just smushes them. Hee hee hee. I like that. I, yeah, for some reason I can't do a Japanese accent. Whatever. Who cares? Um, but yeah, I feel like they have a secret Kirby game they're not telling us about. Like, Lost Levels was the difficult Mario game that never got released in America because it was, uh, too difficult for us. So they just, like, gave us a shit not a shitty game, but not even close to what Lost Levels ended up being. Lost Levels was so much fun. I love Lost Levels. I love the challenge. I mean, it's not like it's as difficult as Kaizo. You know, Kaizo's unbelievable. Now, if they made, like, if uh, Super Mario 2 was, like, uh... Kaizo Mario, yeah, then I'd understand why they wouldn't release that in America, but still, it's not that difficult, so why not? Whatever, I'm just complaining. You know, I mean, and it makes sense. I mean, I guess if it was difficult enough, people would be like, but now people loved really, ooh, suck it, squid, or octopus, octopi. Can I just do it again? No, I have to wait. Aw, he died. Sorry. Oh, but you made a warp star appear. Literal warp. I like that they're literally warp stars now. They actually warp you to another dimension. I bet you did do that on purpose, though. Oh, yay. More water floating crap. I hate this stuff. I don't know why they put that there, but whatever. Whatever. Whatever, Bert. Okay, so this is where we're going to get our next... Ooh, give me that. The next, uh two ship gear parts, whatever I'm supposed to call them. The Gears of Kirby. If only. If only you could suck up the Gears of War, the Gears, or whatever. I actually have no idea. I know nothing about Gears of War. I'm a Nintendo player, so I don't know too much about games like that. The only game that I know a lot about other that's not really a Nintendo franchise like is uh, Halo. I'm a pretty big Halo fan. In case you didn't know that. Oh, what are you doing in there, fishy? You're supposed to be in the water. Oh, there you go. Now you got it. Now you know what you're doing. Now you're playing with power. I was watching, uh, oh god, which one was that? There's, a uh, Friday the 13th, and they put a bunch of video game puns in it. Oh my god, it was so funny. Just because they're so stupid. Like, you like, oh god, oh god, can I slide kick? Okay, I, can, I didn't know I could slide kick my way through those. If I would have known that, that's what I would have done. It was done. It did. No, damn it. I wanted to get those extra star bits that I figured would have been in there. Whatever. Wait, ooh, we get the spear power. Oh my god, he's dressed like a Spartan warrior? Oh my god, this power is radical. Oh shit, we're already at 30 minutes. Suck it, dear sphere doomer. Ow, 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 ow. This power is amazing. They should freaking put Kirby in Soul Calibur. I'm not even joking. Kirby wouldn't be an awesome addition to Soul Calibur. Just saying. Feel like that is something that should oh my god you can even throw stuff okay this that was an epic screenshot that is probably gonna be the thumbnail maybe i don't know this power is so cool i love it i love spiel kobe spiel kobe you're so cool you're so cool spiel kobe <laughs> no it actually is though like you get to throw the spear here let's see how do you how did i throw them oh, okay you run and hold and yeah you throw three at a time down, dude, oh my god. They have to put Spear Kirby in freaking the new Super Smash Brothers. I don't care. I know I keep saying that, but I don't care. I don't care. I know, but seriously, Spear Kirby's the shit. <laughs> I love it. 
love it with all my heart and soul and bleeding organs. What am I even saying? Jesus. Um, while I'm recording this, actually, I'm uploading the first episode of the series. I'm trying... Ah, oh, 35 energy spheres! Yay! Happy together! Okay, so next is stage... Wait, I didn't even see where they put stage 4. Oh, there it is. So we go underwater, under the sea. Down here it's wetter, down here it's better, take it from me. Okay, so now, get out of my face. Spear face. Sounds like a really bad movie. Sorry, I'm just standing around, I was checking something. Ah, no, I really don't want to lose my spear ability. I'm assuming there's waddle Doos with spears, and that's how we end up getting this. But I don't know. It's weird that they give it to us before a boss battle instead of just a random time. Normally they introduce powers to you, not really just say, Hey, do you want to use this random power you have never used before in a boss battle? Yeah, sure, I'm about to go against, you know, this, de this demonic dimension eating monster. Why not give this new power up a try? Seems like a great idea. Oh, we gotta go this way. Walking in the water. Alright, so push this button. To make the ground up. All right, that's logical. Apparently, little switches make the entire continental plates shift. Tectonic plates. Lots of those and Kirby. Oh, the lighting looks cool here. I like it a lot. People always. I feel like people never realize how awesome lighting is. Like, I mean, I know I personally never realized how much work went into lighting until I like started taking classes on it. Or doing production where we actually use light kits and stuff but some lighting like just sets whatever you're trying to do so perfectly I mean you notice such a big difference you know when you change the kind of lighting you also notice a lot of difference in shading and lighting when you start doing uh, editing programs like cinema 4d where you can add shading and all that no the spear the Spartan pride is gone I'm gonna go murder every the, all these fishes now to make myself feel better. All right, cucumbers. <laughs> okay, that was not so bad. Did I only do that for some? Ch no. Wait, hold on. There was. Oh, I didn't know these things actually killed enemies. But I was the only one that could get hurt by stuff. That's cool. I always like in games when they do that. Because I was like, really, how, how can a freaking spiky, spinny thing know what's a good guy and what's a bad guy? I mean, come on. And I know you can argue with the logic, but I don't give a shit. I mean, I know you can argue with it that it is Nintendo logic. But I no care. Alright, so what do we need to do for this? We need to just, like, death mark. <gasps> Oh, okay, I figured out what I did, what I need to do, and what I'm doing wrong, and how stupid I am. Okay, so the first thing we should do is... No! Okay, so we did that. I think we did that right. I don't even know what I just did. Oh my god, I know what I did just then. I freaking did something stupid. As usual. So I'm going to kill all these enemies real quick. And I'll use my sword to hit that. To hit that oh I see what I did okay so I accidentally hit the switch you're supposed to not hit the switch oh I'm supposed to not make the trap door go oh I see mm, yes okay is that one or two yeah okay that's one I think yeah that's one <clears throat> so we're making good progress how does where does his hat go why does his hat just disappear when he's recording or when he's recording wow when he is swimming because that just disappears like magically okay i need to really stop arguing with the nintendo logic i'm gonna make myself sick there's just no reason oh there goes the sword ability not like i wanted it anyway oh wait yes i did i like the sword no freaking tuba that tuba what the hell am i saying ah sleep deprivation and it's fine it's gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, sorry. Yay, tectonic plates! It's effin science! That show sucked, I'm sorry, but it did. G4 has some of the worst programming ever. I used to like it a lot more when it was like cinema, uh, cinema, uh, what was it? Cinematech? Cinematech? 
I can't remember. When they would show, like, um, the game clips. You know, and they'd show a lot of games from, like, Japan that you would never see anywhere near here. But you still got to see what other games were like. Or they had, like, a... What was it? Portal? Was there a game called... Was there a show called Portal? I feel like there was. It was, like, a reality show kind of... Like, at first, all they would do would just be, like, a joke. They would go to, like, MMOs and stuff like that and, like, do skits in them. And then they turned it into, like, a ridiculous, like, scripted show. It was just silly. It was still pretty good. It was still pretty enjoy though. enjoyable, though. Um, what the hell? How do I... How do I do that? How do I get on the other side? I mean, they gave me this to use. I don't know if I need to use this to get over there or if they're just giving it to me in general. I don't know. Oh, you know what? No, I just figured it out. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay. Um... Ow! Yeah, they hide the door. Okay. Well, now I feel like an idiot. Get out of here, fishies. Come on, fishies. Come get a taste. Alright, so that's two out of five. Still making pretty good progress. Um, so for you guys, just so you know, I'm just curious. I mean, I could take this into consideration when I post the last couple videos. Would you want to see... you want me to just keep doing that like how I'm doing it? Or do you want me to... Uh, for like the last ones to break them up because I mean this is gonna end up probably being close to an hour long Since I think I still have this level to finish and two. I don't know if it's gonna be two more just one more Not counting the boss of course But I mean I don't want to just post a bunch of hour-long videos I mean, I don't know because I like the separation of it that I just show it level by level, but at the same time Who's really gonna want to watch? An hour-long video. I mean, I, I mean, I know a lot of you do. Uh, especially after doing Emerald, I learned that. Oh yeah, we get to peer back. I'm so happy. <gasps> My life has meaning and purpose again. Oh thank God. I think this is just supposed to make something. This is gonna end up making something easier, but I don't know what. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Thought that was gonna squish me. Oh, what if I get like a giant spear? I can just make it rain spears. Oh my god, that would be awesome. I'd be so happy if I could do that. That was like the easiest thing to get. <laughs> I wish they would have made more use out of the uh, Wii motion control, but at the same time, I don't really know what they would have done. Just in general, I guess. Ha! Ah, yeah, the spear is pretty useful actually for this. Because you move, okay, as I almost lose the power. Now you're playing with power. No, don't get killed by this freaking death spike rock. Please don't. Um, so what is that gonna make? No! Ah, uh, bet you there was a freaking ship part in there. Spear down. Spear. No, okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, okay, whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care. Didn't want it anyway. Death spear! Seriously, I just... Oh, whoa. I haven't seen those. I think those guys were in the... What is this? What the fuck? No! Ability! Don't go away. I don't need to put you down quite yet. Oh, wait. Is this a bomb? Is this a bomb? What do you mean I'm not supposed to say bomb in an airport? Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, God. That was lightning outside. Wait. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I just got nervous. And I didn't want to die in a Kirby game again and the lightning distracted me and I had this thought like what if I've been recording this for so long and the power goes out well it wouldn't be that big a deal because I'm pretty sure this game saves like automatically after every level but still what if what if the power goes out and someone murders me how who will ever see the first ow the bomb can hurt me what that's not fair I should be invincible to everything God, Nintendo, I should never have to die. I mean, after all, it worked out so well the first time with the first Kirby Wii for the Wii game. Hey, guys, let's make a new Kirby game. Oh, that's awesome. I've had a lot of good ideas. No, none of your ideas are good enough. We're going to make him completely out of yarn, and he can't die. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but that sounds like a really bad idea. Well, that's why we don't pay you. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's probably going to be the fourth. Yeah, I missed one. I bet you it was back where that spiky ball was hitting the side of the wall. 
Oh, well, at least, like, when you miss them, you still can... Oh, that's a big guy. Come on, Mr. Eel. That's right, suck in that air. Yeah, you should probably suck your stomach in. You're looking pretty fat. I'm sorry, that was mean. I didn't mean it. You're, you're looking pretty good, actually. For an eel, you got it going on. You got your butt. Oh, my God! Holy frijoles. Speaking of holy frijoles, Puss in Boots comes out this weekend. And I am actually pretty excited. I'm not going to lie. Um, Puss in Boots was probably one of the funniest characters in the whole, the whole movie of Shrek. And to be honest, the thing I hated the most about Shrek was kind of Shrek himself. The whole thing with Shrek and his kids and like his wife and you know, I get sick of Cameron Diaz's voice. I even get sick of Michael Myers' voice. You know, that Irish accent, he's been, it's not the first time he's used that in a movie. You know, it, it, the problem is I saw, uh, so I married an axe murderer before I saw Shrek. So it's kind of like, oh, this is that voice. You know, there's not much different about it. But you know, I'm just being picky, you know, it's kind of hard not to be picky when you watch as many movies as I do. That is one really big downside to watching tons of movies, is you just become so much more judgmental and you just hate so much more stuff. But then when you find something you really enjoy, it makes it a lot better, it makes you respect it a lot more. So that is one plus of becoming a huge movie person and just watching a lot of movies. And that's what Lauren's been learning. She, you know, she always watched movies, but not nearly as many as I did, or how as many as she does now that she's with me. You know, we literally, after we go to the movie theater, we literally talk about movies for like, oh my god, like an hour and a half. We talk about the film we just watched. We just have to, we have so much to say about it, you know? You know? Alright, so now we go to door five. Wait, is this boss level time? Boss time? Oh, cool. Alright, so maybe this episode won't be so long. I mean, it's still going to be, let's see, what time are we at right now? We are at 42, so, you know, it's going to be about five minutes longer, depending on how this boss fight goes. I don't really know how this boss fight will go. I can't think of what water enemy this is going to, oh, it's going to be a swimming. Oh, you know what? I do actually think I know who this is going to be. Um, I'm going to stick, ooh, what is that? Oh, snowman. I'm going to stick to the spear, just because I really like the spear power a lot. There was a fish enemy in, what Kirby game was that? I don't remember. Maybe it wasn't a fish enemy. Maybe it was just a digging enemy. I don't remember, dude. Dude, I don't remember. <gasps> what is that? Is it a freaking lobster? Hello? Lobster? Lobster? Oh, no. What the hell is that thing? Is that a fish or a fatty puffer? What did I just do? Did I just fly with this thing? Ah, I did! Oh, my God. This is the coolest ability ever. Oh, my God really is. You fly around like a freaking helicopter. That's awesome. Okay, so he's invincible when he's doing this whole blowing up and spinny ball thingy. So don't even bother trying to hit him, I guess. It's pretty easy to dodge, though. All you gotta do is fly to the top, and he freaking sucks. Literally, I guess. Okay, so he's making the... Ah, I can't... He makes the... Okay, he makes the oh, oh, he's dead. Okay, I thought he had a way longer time ago. Look at this. Look at that, that's awesome! Oh my god. This power is amazing! Oh, we got the next ship part. Yay! 29, 29 days remain. I mean, what? This isn't Pikmin, what am I saying? Besides, even if it was Pikmin, it would be 20... Well, actually, it depends on how many parts. In one day, I've technically gotten three parts, so I have 27 more parts in 29 days. Or something like that. I don't know, dude. I'm so tired right now. I'm probably gonna finish this off in a second. Don't skip it. We need to watch this. This is important. Important to the story. Uh, processing this Kirby video is taking forever. Because I'm posting it at 3 in the morning. I don't want to go to bed till I put my thumbnail on it. My sexy thumbnail that I made for myself. Hey, buddy. Welcome back, Kirby. With that left wing back in place, the wings are finally complete. It's finally looking like a real star cutter again. We, If we can find those last two parts, the lore will be flying again in no time. Keep at it, Kirby. I believe in you. Alright, guys. So, in this episode, we finished off the water... Oh, uh, what was it? Onion Ocean? Onion -y Ocean? And the next episode, we'll be going to the next part. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We also unlocked the two mini games, Ninja Dodo, 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 Dodo.
and the scoper, the scoper what? Scope shot. So I'll probably end up doing a bonus episode at the end showing all the challenges and all the multiplayer modes. And I might even do some multiplayer gameplay with my girlfriend. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please like this video, favorite this video, and comment on this video saying what you liked about it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, do whatever you gotta do to share your love. I'm Red Panda Gamer. thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!